Hi, Art Historians. Welcome back. We are in week three, module five, and this is unit two. We are going to wrap up our discussion about the art of Islam, and the title of this unit's materials is module five, Art of Islam, Islamic Art 2, 5.04, Art of Islam Part 2. And we have five core works and two supplemental works that you're going to be learning about in this particular unit. And the date range for these works is around 786 to 1330 CE. And the location for these is quite a bit around Europe. Uh, we've got Spain, Iran, Turkey, and Algeria. And your architectural sites include the Great Mosque of Cordoba, the Great Mosque of Isfahan, and the Great Mosque of uh, Tlemens. So we've got small scale works as well, which includes the Mamluk Quran and the folio from the Shanama. The supplemental works includes the Ottoman prayer carpet with triple arch design and the Hagia Sophia mosque. Now we've talked about a couple of these previously in regards to your supplemental works, so those might just be a review for you if you'd get the chance to check them out, which I always encourage. So when we think about the art of Islam in regards to the second half, we want to explore some major mosques, and two of those are my favorites, which is Cordoba and Isfahan. Um, Cordoba, if you look at the top of it, to me, kind of seems like corrugated cardboard. It's got this like chevron mountain range type top to it. So I remember Cordoba cardboard. Um, and then we also have the Mosque of Isfahan, which looks like little mini domes all over the top of it. And I think it looks like bubble wrap. So Cordoba looks like cardboard. Isfahan looks like bubble wrap. Um, when we think about Cordoba, this is a really important site. Um, it used to be a completely different building before the Umayyad dynasty came in and converted it into a mosque. They were pretty upset after getting kicked out of their capital city and area, so they were going to Spain to try to revive their entire dynasty, those Umayyads. Um, and so that is what we're seeing for Cordoba. And in regards to Isfahan, this is a really interesting mosque built right into the center of the city. So Cordoba is a hypostyle mosque where we have a general large worship area filled to the brim with columns to support the ceiling above it. Cordoba is also known for its like candy cane stripes. Then when we look at Isfahan, this is a mosque that is a very central courtyard and it has four niches, one on each straightaway of that central square rectangular courtyard. So this is called a four Iwan mosque and Iwan is what those huge niches are called. And now mosques in general, they need to do a couple of things. First and foremost, they always have minarets or very, very tall tower in which the worship leader will ascend to call people to worship. They also need to be able to have a covered area or space for all people to come in and worship and be protected from the elements. And last but not least, they do need to point towards Mecca. That's a really important thing. So but that is the Qibla wall. And that wall usually has a podium or a pulpit for the religious worship leader to stand to kind of direct prayer and worship in general. And that usually indicates where the Qibla wall is in addition to a separate smaller indentation that is also an indication of that. Um, and so Isfahan is really interesting in its 41 construction because it's kind of built right into the city. And there's really not too much of a distinction um, between the commercial and city space and the religious space, except for this large central courtyard. Um, the last thing that we're going to be thinking about in regards to the end and wrap up, uh, wrap up of our Islamic art is the Shahnama, which is the Persian Book of Kings. So you're going to see a folio from that as well. And I hope you enjoy. We are going to move right along into the conclusion of the Middle Ages in Europe with the medieval world in Romanesque and Gothic art. So until then, bye!